So this research fits in a larger program in the lab that is focused on finding new genes that are involved in disease. And these particular genes happen to make very small proteins, which are called microproteins. And so this particular paper describes one of these proteins that has a very unusual function that uh, it regulates the way that cells respond to stress. This particular type of stress is, is most, uh, most commonly tied to cells basically having too many proteins. So imagine you have too many things to do, you can't do any of them well. Well, when a cell is making a protein, it actually has to fold it into the right shape so that it's functional. And if it's actually making too many proteins and it can't fold any of them well enough, that becomes a problem because those proteins, when they're not functional, become toxic. And so this, pro this response is designed to do several things. One is to basically help augment the pathways that are necessary for helping things fold better. If it can't do that, uh, then basically it wants to send the cell down the path of, it's called program cell death, but basically for the cell to die, because you don't want this stress to result in, you know, some sort of mutation or things like that that lead to other diseases. The cell's obviously not working properly, and so you want to get it out of the way. Pig boss, which I think is how it's supposed to be pronounced, although, you know, these things don't formally have real pronunciation, but I like to call it pig boss. I always imagine a pig wearing sunglasses. To understand what a protein is doing or what something is doing in the cell, it's really helpful to know where it is. Um, and to do that, the best way to do that is with imaging. And the way it works is you use some uh, molecular engineering and you confuse this GFP protein, which is fluorescent, to your protein of interest. And we do this all the time. The problem is that most proteins are hundreds of amino acids big. But in this case, we're studying a microprotein, which is only 54 amino acids. So here you've got this tiny little guy and you're adding a giant 250 amino acid GFP to it, and that is very likely to disrupt its normal function. So what we did was we used a trick that has been recently developed, which is called split GFP. And that was the trick that allowed us to actually be able to image um, pig boss with GFP in live cells and see exactly where it goes in a much more um, elegant way. This is the first time we identified the pig boss protein. Emergent evidence indicates that this microprotein has uh, important roles in biology, so that's why we are interested in studying microproteins. To me, microprotein uh, represents a new field, and it, everything is new, a lot of unknowns. To me, uh, studying that field is really exciting. Stress is important in a variety of different diseases. So in your degeneration, uh, for example, you get too much cell death when they undergo stress, so you'd like to prevent that. Uh, and then in other diseases, when, uh, for example, like cancer, where cells get stressed but they don't actually die, you'd want to kind of enhance it. So understanding these pathways are going to have important roles in a variety of different diseases uh, and in maintaining good cell health in general.